Let's now turn to a different subject, enthalpy. Enthalpy, abbreviated as H, is a way of reporting a system's total energy according to the following equation. Enthalpy equals E plus P times V, where E equals internal energy, P equals pressure, and V equals the volume of a system. Now remember earlier how I mentioned that heat is not abbreviated using the letter H, but the letter Q, and I promised you I'd explain why. The reason is because we use the letter H for enthalpy, and in order to avoid confusion, we use the letter Q for heat. You might ask, why in the world didn't we use the letter E for enthalpy? Well, the reason is because the letter E is reserved for energy, which is something else. <laughs> but there's still more to be said about enthalpy. The change in enthalpy for a reaction is called delta H. It is defined mathematically as being delta H, the total change in enthalpy for a system, is equal to the final enthalpy minus the initial enthalpy. Or it can also be expressed as delta H equals the enthalpy of the products minus the enthalpy of reactants. Now note, just as we've seen with delta Q, a negative delta H signifies an exothermic reaction, while a positive delta H an endothermic reaction. We'll now leave this subject momentarily, but we'll get back to it later on in the chapter. Let's turn now to discussing gas systems. Gas systems, as it turns out, can do work on their surroundings. Can you think of an example? If you said the controlled explosions in a combustion engine, you were right. If you said something else, I have no way of knowing. So let's just assume you're right in any case. Here's a cool picture that shows that. Supposing we have a chemical reaction or physical process inside a closed vessel that produces gas as that process is moved forward. If this vessel is closed, then as that gas expands, it can actually push a piston up. That piston could in turn be attached to a crankshaft or to some other mechanism that could then allow us to do work. So do gas systems do work as gas molecules are created and expand? Yes, they do. Now work that's done in a gas system is called pressure volume work and is defined mathematically as W work, in this case pressure volume work, equals negative P times delta V, where P equals pressure and change in volume delta V is equal to V final minus V initial. Now because delta E equals Q plus W, which we talked about in an earlier slide, and enthalpy equals energy plus pressure times volume, talked about in an earlier slide, and pressure volume work equals negative P times delta V, which we just barely talked about, delta H at constant pressure can be rewritten in various forms shown here. Now I realize this is many equations I've thrown at you to learn. Please rest assured that on the exam and problem sets, I will give you all the equations that you need and will not require you to memorize them. This lets us finish with a final example. A gas is confined to a cylinder under constant atmospheric pressure. When it undergoes a particular chemical reaction, it absorbs 824 joules of heat from its surroundings and has 0.65 kilojoules of pressure volume work done on it by its surroundings. What are the values of delta H and delta E for this process? Let's go ahead and do this problem together. As shown in the problem, the work done on the system by its surroundings is 0.65 kilojoules, and the heat transferred to the system by its surroundings is 0.824 kilojoules. Note that I've converted 824 joules into 0.824 kilojoules here. So what in the world is the total change in enthalpy, delta H? Well, we learned from one of the equations on the previous slide that for a constant pressure system, delta H equals Q, which equals 0.824 kilojoules. Thus, we've now answered that question. But what about delta E? We remember that delta E equals Q plus W. We throw in these numbers for those two values, and we end up discovering that delta E equals 1.47 kilojoules. That brings us to the end of this first half of our discussion on Chapter 5's coverage of thermodynamics. Please stay tuned as we continue covering this subject with further lecture videos to be posted shortly. Until then, have an enjoyable rest of your day.